Yo, what's going on guys? It is Cynical, and today for you guys, I have some Kingdom Hearts news and information. So, as you guys should probably know, I uploaded a video a few hours ago explaining that basically Denge here doing a special 600th issue for their magazine, which is going to be basically focusing around Kingdom Hearts 3 as well as Kingdom Hearts 2.0. Eight. And the news is finally starting to flow out, which is super exciting. Now, the news um, that is contained with inside of this issue is slowly coming out. Of course, it's all in Japanese, so it has to be translated and stuff like that. So I'm basically going to feed you guys the news as it comes along. Today, we're going to be looking at something very interesting that just got translated. Super exciting stuff. So let's read about this. And this is, of course, talking about Kingdom Hearts 0.2 birth by sleep so this is what it states the three protagonists of kingdom hearts birth by sleep were met with a cruel fate and disappeared from the worlds the situation doesn't change in kingdom hearts 0.2 birth by sleep but on aqua's journey in the dark realm there is a possibility that she will discover a way to save them as for what will save them in the end it's still a mystery but that too should be made clear in kingdom hearts 3 so there is two things that i kind of picked out from that small little paragraph right there. So of course it starts off and it explains that the three protagonists of Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep met a cruel fate and disappeared from the world. So of course we know that in the end of Birth by Sleep, um, you know, Aqua, Terra, and Ventus, their endings were pretty dull. Birth by Sleep's ending was pretty, you know, kind of in some sense I suppose you could say it was sort of depressing, man. It was a really, really sad ending because, um, you know, they, they didn't necessarily have a happy ending, like, tragedies definitely happened to all three of them. And um, it continues to explain that their situation doesn't change in Kingdom Hearts 0.2 Birth by Sleep. Now, ultimately, I was hoping that by the end of 0.2 Birth by Sleep, Aqua would escape, um, you know, the, the Realm of Darkness. I was hoping that she'd escape the Realm of Darkness and she'd be set free out into the real worlds and stuff like that. But from what they're kind of stating there, it really doesn't look like she's going to be escaping from the Realm of Darkness, which kind of sucks. She's probably going to be uh, escaping in Kingdom Hearts 3. But as it continues to explain, basically, um, she might actually discover a way to save herself as well as Terra and Ventus in 0.2 Birth by Sleep. Now, in terms of Terra, I got no idea how that guy is going to come out of his um, current state. You know, obviously, Xehanort has possessed his body and stuff like that. The only real thing that remains of him is the Lingering Will, which is essentially his mind with inside his Keyblade armor. But how he's going to return, I have no idea. There's probably going to be something to do with the lingering will itself and the lingering will probably like somehow i don't know sort of fighting xehanort in some sense but currently right now it's still a mystery but it's going to be interesting to see like how kind of aqua figures out how to kind of bring back terra in terms of ventus i mean i think it's pretty straightforward the reason why ventus is in the state he's in of course he's in a coma as of right now and he has been for like 10 years or so now the reason behind that is due to the fact that of course he had that massive battle with venetus at the end of kingdom hearts birth by sleep in order to actually defeat Venetus and to stop the forging of the Keyblade, you know, uh, Ventus actually had to sacrifice a very large part of his heart in order to do so. Uh, it was a very heroic feat by Ventus himself, but he ended up doing it, and in doing so, a very big part of his heart became fragmented and in some sense kind of destroyed. So that part of his heart went to Sora, and Sora, you know, accepted that part of Ventus's heart with inside of his own heart to heal and mend. It. So I almost can see, you know, it's going to be a situation of Sora having to actually go to Ventus and um, transfer that mended piece of Ventus's heart back into Ventus himself. And I think that, um, of, of course, you know, Aqua will actually find all of that kind of stuff out in 0.2 Birth by Sleep. I, you know, she already currently knows of this guy, Sora, right? Between the, the conversation that her and Diz had in the Realm of Darkness. What's this boy's name? His name is... Sora. 
So she knows of Sora and I feel like she will eventually find out that Ventus actually put a piece of his heart with inside of Sora and that Sora really is the key towards bringing Ventus back. But anyway, um, we're just going to have to actually play the game and wait ourselves. I know it kind of sucks and stuff like that. We've got a bit of waiting to do, but there is some information right there. Super exciting stuff. Kind of, you know, bummed out that Aqua won't be escaping the realm of darkness. Well, from what this is kind of saying, in 0.2 Birth by Sleep. But once again, we're just going to have to wait and see. So, otherwise, guys, what do you think about this news and information? Let me know in the comment section below. And until next time, guys, I'll catch you later. Peace.